Thank you, thank you for joining uh, today's uh, uh, talk. Okay, my my subject is uh, why infrastructure resilience matters. Okay, and uh, as you may know, you know, uh, it is uh, ten years after the big earthquake hit the east eastern part of Japan. Okay, it was a really big earthquake. Okay, and uh, this slide, this photo shows, you know, how the uh, energy of the earthquake spread out propaganda, okay, through time. Okay, and uh, shaded to regions is uh, uh, affected areas. Okay, and I show you several slides, you know, okay, uh, which was obtained from the uh, medias, through the medias. Okay, and uh, this was uh, unfold disaster uh, risk. Nobody expected, you know, such big uh, tsunamis attacks uh, the coast areas of these countries and the tsunami waves travels far inland. The wave of debris racing across the farm lands, carrying boats and houses with it. It was really striking, you know. And so these photos were taken at the top of the uh, buildings. Okay, and you can see the, how big the tsunami was. Okay, and uh, uh, these uh, photos may convey the realities of the uh, tsunamis, and uh, this is a very good materials for pedagogical purposes, I think. Okay, and uh, this was a consequence, you know, it's a striking photos, who I bought on the top of the building. But uh, this was the realities, okay. And uh, after uh, tsunamis, of, say the victim regions became completely flat, okay. Then recovery is a process. It was started. It was uh, very heavy activities duties. It uh, took a lot of time, you know for the flu recoveries, even now, you know, okay, local economies uh, cannot be fully recovered from the <coughs> calamities. And in addition to tsunamis, uh, we had uh, a break, a breakdowns of the atomic reactors, nuclear power accident, okay, and the big tsunamis hit the, you know, the building of the new power stations, okay? And uh, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power stations, it's uh, completely destroyed, okay? And uh, still, you know, say on the recovery process. Okay, and uh, this table, say, summarize, you know, uh, what was uh, economic uh, asset loss, okay? And so uh, this uh, slides, summarize, you know, okay, e economic uh, asset loss in terms of Japanese yen and uh, uh, US dollars, okay, but uh, this slide only shows, you know, okay, it only includes uh, earthquake and tsunamis, exclude the nuclear disasters, okay, and uh, buildings damage, uh, loss of say building asset, it amount to 10 trillion Japanese yen. Okay, and uh, uh, followed by lifeline infrastructure, agriculture, fishery and others. Okay, and uh, we understand the huge economic loss driven by this earthquake. After, to, uh, after the earthquake, you know, uh, several research institutes in Japan initiated uh, uh, several surveys, okay, 
to measures so-called indirect loss driven by earthquake. Okay, and uh, uh, post-event surveys. Uh, okay, two famous surveys carried out. Okay, and uh, this uh, table summarizes, you know, okay, information source. And given the, you know, based upon uh, these uh, tables, uh, we can we trace, you know, how Jap Japanese economies, local economies, uh, driven, uh, recovered. Uh, from the uh, tragedies, okay? And uh, uh, this picture shows, you know, uh, decrease of revenues of the companies, okay, with the initial inoperability of the industries, okay? And uh, you can see the first damage, so direct damage, the heavier direct damage is the recovery uh, periods take long, longer times, okay? But uh, you can see, even after one year from the disasters, a full recovery cannot be attained, could not be attained, okay? And uh, this means, you know, delay of the recovery, okay? Inevitably derive economic loss, okay? Decrease of revenues, okay, can be summarized by the area, colored by yellows. Okay, and uh, this is uh, estimated uh, economic impact uh, driven by ground motions. Okay, and uh, you can see, okay, e economic loss prefect uh, of the respective prefectures. A decrease of profit and the recovery cost. Recovery cost is uh, okay amount of the okay a physical investment okay to set up new machine, new building, and so on. But uh, recovery of profit, okay, this can uh, this was driven by okay a terminations of the activities. Okay, and the recovery from this table, we understand recovery cost is 10 times smaller than business interruption cost. Okay, from this table, we understand, you know, a quicker recovery is very important uh, to reduce the economic loss of the disasters. Okay, and uh, uh, let us summarize, you know, what we, land from uh, Great uh, Eastern Japan earthquake, okay? And uh, among others, it should be underlined the importance of infrastructure resilience, okay? And uh, uh, there are a lot of, say, definitions on the infrastructure resilience, but uh, I like uh, not this uh, definitions. Ability to absorb, withstand, and rapidly recover from the hazard strike impacting the local, regional, and national levels. Okay, that is uh, uh, meaning of infrastructure resilience. And also this is a, a basic uh, subject of this international, you know, JSC SE seminar. Okay, and uh, the uh, infrastructure resilience a focusing on the built civil infrastructure and the lifeline systems and how they interact with other infrastructure systems to support a greater local, regional, and national resilience. Okay. And uh, uh, the ability to absorb rapid recovery requires a core services from all uh, essential infrastructure systems to be provided to key area locations and the critical times, okay? And so uh, JSC and ASC agree upon, you know, to, with uh, collaborations, research collaborations, to develop integrated tools and a network of supporting resources to enhance civil infrastructure and lifeline system resilience and ensure pro uh, proper support to greater local region and the national resilience objectives. 
Okay, and uh, uh, this slide is uh, first of cornerstones to understand, you know, the, our methodologies. Okay, and uh, you can see three dimensional, you know, okay, uh, spaces. Okay, each dimension, you know, this uh, represents important uh, factors. Okay, type of hazards. Okay, and the type of the adverse uh, adverse event cycles and the systems okay by combining you know three dimensions okay we can uh, understand you know the element of the methodologies okay and uh, uh, we crash why you know all the previous researches along uh, this three dimensional you know see uh, framework okay we understand you know some cells Okay, some elements uh, we have uh, made a lot of, you know, okay, uh, research already, but uh, many other uh, factors still, you know, demands, say, intensive researches. Okay, this is a geography of academic subject. Okay, by doing so, uh, we understand, you know, how to strengthen, you know, our, uh, say, research activities. This is a common um, uh, between uh, JSC and ASC, okay? And to understand our own, uh, say, uh, understanding, knowledge, set of knowledge. Okay, and uh, this uh, slide, you know, say, uh, characterize, you know, to, uh, the concept of, uh, say, resilience, okay? and uh, how to control the disaster risk, okay? And uh, you can see, you know, okay, a, at a certain time, uh, at a certain point in time, a disaster arrives, okay? And the damage occurs, economic st status go down, okay? And from the, that point, a recovery process, will start, okay? So before and after the disasters, uh, we have to say develop, you know, integrated framework to control the disaster risk, okay? This kind of comprehensive treatment is necessary, okay? And uh, infrastructure resilience concept provide us with a very integrated framework, you know, by which all, you know, say, uh, research activities or practical, you know, methodologies can be in integrated into the comp uh, comprehensive uh, uh, tools. Okay, and later on, uh, Craig's, uh, I, uh, uh, will uh, show up, you know, the uh, details of the methodology, but uh, from these figures, okay, you can understand, you know, the uh, overview of the infrastructure resilience frameworks. In the interest of time, I, I don't touch up on the details, you know, okay, but uh, uh, this is a very, very important, great methodologies, okay, and uh, uh, following, you know, presentations. Viral uh, will, uh, say, e explains, you know, uh, the role of the, this kind of activities. And the Craig, you know, will follow up, you know, details of the methodologies. Okay, and uh, uh, before concluding, you know, my lectures, I show up some figures which we can, uh, we shared, you know, okay, uh, in the, uh, Great East Japan earthquake period. Okay, and uh, uh, these photos was taken uh, two days after the earthquake. Okay, and road clearance work already started. Okay, and uh, uh, this is a uh, damage of uh, expressway just after the earthquake. Okay, this was, uh, photo taken was taken 
on the 11th of March, 2011. Okay, you can uh, see how, say, severely the uh, express facilities were damaged. Okay, but uh, uh, three days later, okay, the construction recovery started. Okay, and so uh, seventh of March, uh, six days later from the earthquake, you know, the express expressway was fully recovered. Okay, uh, this is a very good okay uh, activities to reduce you know economic loss driven by earthquake. Okay, and uh, uh, this figure say explain you know okay recovery timelines. This is a very complex systems, but I think we know it is well organized. Okay, and uh, it is too late, you know, if we start to prepare this kind of timeline after the disaster occurs. Okay, we have to uh, say prepare, okay, in this kind of say, schemes in advance before disaster occurs. Okay, and uh, a lot of institutional arrangement in necessaries. Uh, Kyote, this is the Japanese terms. Okay, framework agreement for the emergencies. Okay, this kind of the institutions is a totally necessary. Okay, and uh, uh, we are very proud of you know establish this kind of the institution in, institutional infrastructure already. Okay, this can be shared you know by the people all over the world. Okay, and the JSC and uh, of course uh, together with ASCE can contribute, you know, to disseminate this idea to the world. Okay, so uh, Kyote, okay, framework. Uh, the important point is preparation at ordinary times. Okay, and uh, of course, you know, uh, we have to uh, prepare for some compensations to invite, you know, uh, corporations of the stakeholders. Okay, <clears throat> so this is a summary uh, of the our finding, you know, uh, from the uh, arrangement of infrastructure, let's say institutional infrastructures. Framework is not legally enfo enforceable. Okay, but uh, framework intend to provide a focal point of how relevant to stakeholder behave where strategic coordination is necessary rather than to bind the party to conduct by authoritative power of the court. Okay, implicit trust enabled to engage in the framework. Contract trust the public body shall pay reasonably. Okay, and the public body trust that the con uh, contractors will not hold up. Okay, and uh, this is the last slide I wish to show you. Okay, and uh, uh, we still, you know, uh, <coughs> demands a lot of the new innovative uh, development, methodological development. Okay, and uh, uh, causality between the disruptions of multiple infrastructure facilities, the impact of the recovery process. Okay, and this is just an example, but I'm very much interested in the development of logic models and supply chain models. This is, say, tremendously important for the recoveries. And the methodology for measuring impact on communities, efficiency economic models, the survivability simulation models, and also governance as the enabler of quick recoveries. Okay, and so we have to keep institutional capacities and the pre preparedness. Okay, and uh, this uh, uh, JCSC seminar, okay, if this is a four day seminars, and uh, we will take up, you know, okay, this uh, element which should be discussed intensively in developing you know, infrastructure resilience frameworks and methodologies. And uh, I'm very happy if the audience uh, can gain you know, some new insights 
seeds of the new researches by attending the, uh, this seminars. Thank you very much.